I am fellowship trained in minimally invasive surgery. I did my fellowship at the University of Louisville. And so in our training, in my training, we spend a lot of time learning how to suture laparoscopically. So it's well known that closing the vaginal cuff is usually the rate limiting step for doing a hysterectomy laparoscopically and through a single site or single port even more so. So that's when I began using the, the, the device, the endo stitch. And that allowed me, during that first time I ever tried the single incision hysterectomy to close the cuff. And since then I've just, it's been so easy to use, I continue to use it. Endo stitch has um, lowered my cuff closure times reproducibly. But, and more importantly, the endo stitch has um, allowed the residents who I teach be able to learn to close the vaginal cuff uh, faster. I definitely think that it's something which will, again, be enabling or allow many surgeons who have been hesitant or felt limited to make the transition to total laparoscopic hysterectomy, able to do so with this device. Um, and potentially handle more complex cases laparoscopically because they know that they have a device where they can suture. So this is the endo stitch instrument. Um, it has a handle here where your hands go. You hold it like a handshake. You can see that there's a needle on one side on one blade there. And when you close the handle and then toggle this lever, this green lever, it will transfer the needle Close the handle again, nice and secure. Toggle this the other way, and it transfers the needle back. So when you put this instrument in your hands, you'll feel that it's very user-friendly, and I can toggle this needle back and forth very easily. So you can get that whole depth of bite when you're taking bites across the vaginal cuff. When I did my fellowship, and, and the way that I was taught to suture is through um, one lateral port and one port that is suprapubic. And so the number of ports I would use, um, or at least the way I was trained in multi-port laparoscopy for hysterectomy, is to use four ports in a diamond configuration. And that middle port, or the suprapubic port, was used for suturing. Endo stitch is very useful because it allows you to close the cuff with a single instrument, which uh, through single site surgery is very advantageous. So to be able to not need that extra hand allows me um, to also free up a port. So uh, I save a port even through multi-port. So now I like the endo, the endo stitch or the sil stitch so much that I will sometimes use those devices in multi-port laparoscopy. When you go from multiport laparoscopy to single site surgery, you have to operate through one hole. And that has the inherent problem of, of potentially sword fighting or clashing of the instrument handles. But for automated suturing, I think that's really advantageous if you're working uh, in tight spaces, either around where you're trying to suture or like in the situation of single incision surgery where maybe the instrument handles can be constricting.